Hi, this is Kevin for Sonovert.com. In this video, we are looking at audio distortion and how to remove it in Audacity. has some distortion. In Audacity, we can see distortion or representation of distortion by going to View and choosing Show Clipping. That allows us to see the distortion in red. Now, if I just zoom out a little bit, you may be able to see it a bit better. I'm also going to change the track color to Instrument 3, and you should be able to see it quite clearly now. If I just zoom in, we'll be able to see the nature of the distortion. You can see that there are red lines where the audio waveform has become very large and there's clipping. And the clipping is happening here, for instance, where the wave has hit the edge of the graph and whatever information was recorded there basically has not been stored. The wave became too large to be recorded. The information that used to be here or that was there when the recording was made has been lost. And there is no way of getting that information back. Now, you might be able to get the information if you can get to the cosmological horizon, but the chances of that are astronomically small. We can, however, do some cosmetic surgery and make the track sound a little better and remove what remains of the clipping. Let me show you how to do that. We first of all go to the effects menu and you can see that there's a distortion option there. This is a really fun effect but it has nothing to do with removing distortion. It's to do with creating distortion and I'll probably cover that in the next video because it's a really interesting effect. The thing that we need to use is Clip Fix. I'm going to select the track and we'll choose Effect, Clip Fix, and I'm going with a threshold of 95 or 96. It's de it defaults to 95 and I would recommend keeping it around there, not being too experimental. A little bit higher is weaker, lower is stronger, but you don't want to go too low. Trust me on that. Minus 10 for the amplitude. I think the default is minus 9. The reduced amplitude allows us to increase the volume on the track after we've reduced the clipping. You can hit the preview. So being too close to the mic can produce this kind of effect. It's bad microphone technique. Let me just show you what it sounds like without the effect. So being too close to the mic can produce this kind of effect. It's bad microphone technique. Okay, so let's apply the effect and let's see what it actually does. You can see the clipping's gone. Everything looks a bit quieter. Let's amplify it. So you can choose Amplify or you can use Compressor. I'm going to use the compressor because I know how to use the compressor. If you don't know how to use the compressor, just use Amplify. That's made it a bit louder, or a lot louder, but we've got a little bit of clipping there. So I'm going to reduce that using the envelope and we'll play again. So being too close to the mic can produce this kind of effect. It's bad microphone technique. So you might have been able to notice a slight improvement not much. Technically speaking, the clipping has gone, but the audio quality hasn't improved that much. So you can improve it just a tiny bit, but what I would recommend wherever possible is to avoid the clipping in the first place. And if you can re-record, you'll get much better results. Everything will sound more professional, but the option is there for you to play around with. 
If you feel the clipping is not too bad and that the outcome that you get with clip fix is good. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found that useful. If you did, hit the like button, smash the like button, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.